Hey everybody, I'm Sin. Welcome to the Book Nook. Today we're going to be talking about a book called Hex by Thomas Olde Hewalt. This is a horror book, and my goodness, it was horrifying. This was an author that was highly recommended by a booktuber called The Jeff Word, and I will link his channel down in the uh, in the below in the underlings. I don't know. What do you call it? Below this video. It'll be down there. You can check them out. Go see Beef Daddy. Tell him Sin sent you. This book was insanely creepy and scary. It's one that will keep you up at night and looking in dark corners and making sure there's not some 350 year old witch with her eyes and mouth sewn shut standing there watching you whispering. <laughs> Do you have to say there are some trigger warnings in this book um, that references rape, bestiality, and there are also homophobic slurs. This book takes place in a setting called Black Spring. It's a story about a town that is cursed. Once you move there, you cannot leave. Uh, you can leave for a little bit, but the curse pulls you back because if you try to stay away, you start to have thoughts of suicide and wanting to hang yourself or kill yourself. And this town has been cursed for 350 years. I don't know what year it was because the witch didn't always have her eyes and mouth sewn shut. I don't know what year that happened, but a lot of like horrible, horrible things happened. The, the witch's name is Catherine. Back in the day, in the times that it was, she was accused, you know, of being a witch. Black Spring is a seemingly picturesque town. It's, in, it's near the Hudson Valley. This witch watch, walks the streets and basically goes wherever she pleases. And she has her eyes and her mouth sewn shut. She enters homes at will, stands next to children's beds for days on end. And uh, it's pretty creepy. And so they have the town under super high surveillance and they have this whole decree that you know not to let anyone outside the town know or the media or or any of that because they don't want to spread this curse outside of the town so the town's teenagers kind of decide to break the strict regulations and they want they want to go viral with the haunting there is uh, one of the, the sons of the town's folk has a youtube channel but it also has like a secret website call the OYE website, Open Your Eyes. It's private, no one can get on it, and they document and put all their stuff there in these things that they do, like, when surveying the witch, and they think they need to, like, bring this to light. It's the story of what happens with this curse, what happens when the witch is antagonized. Uh, like, a new couple moves to town, and they try to deter this couple, like, in all kinds of way from moving there and they're stubborn and stupid and then they move in anyway so they move in and then you know they're kind of they're told uh after they move in like what it, what happened and now that they can't leave ever and you're part of the curse they're all cursed and then the the husband's all pissed he's like why did you try to get us to leave try harder to get us to leave and they, they had even told him that the town was cursed by a witch and obviously he didn't believe it because you know most people are not going to believe something like that because it's beyond their realm of possibility. But, you know, what you don't know just might kill you. Maybe. Hex is absolutely a stunning horror novel. It's terrifying and creepy. And you care about the characters. There's a lot of effed up stuff that happens. So... <laughs> One of the characters, too, has a, a girlfriend from out of town, but, you know, he can't let her in and he can't tell her about this witch and all that stuff. So it keeps them from never fully being an honest and truthful couple. And just the way that being part of this town affects everyone's lives and how they, they can't leave. There's a lot of symbolism, too, when, you know, for bad omens when stuff happens, like uh, kicking a fairy, fairy ring in the woods. Don't ever do that. You see a fairy ring, don't kick it. Don't do it. There's a lot of like giant owls that show up when stuff seems to be to be going in a in a dark and disturbing way. At some point, 
the shit hits the fan and the town so kind of just returned to these medieval and horrible ways of dealing with stuff and then you get to see how this turns out and it is like this dark tornado like a wave of just despair and death and just how people whip themselves into a frenzy over certain things also the dutch book because this is uh originally written in dutch and translated into english the dutch book has a different ending I need to know what the ending is. Oh my goodness. That's kind of wild. So, does anybody know? If you do, let me know. I don't know. I guess I could scour the internet and look to see. I gave this book five five stars. This is one of the best horror books I've read in a long time. And it scared the crap out of me. It kept me up at night. I cared about the characters. And it's interesting to see, like, if you read this book, like, how your feelings are towards the witch. You know? Just because basically the town wronged her. They wronged her with what they did to her. You read about it in the book. Yeah, I highly recommend this. If you have not read Hex by Thomas Olde Huvelt, give it a shot. He's got another book called Echoes that I cannot wait to get and read that as well. What will be my next horror book? I'm not really sure yet. I don't think I have any in my stack of stuff I'm reading right now. Uh... Maybe Echoes once that comes in. I have it on hold at the library. I am a big proponent of the library. A lot of times I will go there and I will just get books. And if I really love it, then I'll buy it. Like, I might actually buy Hex. And if I like Echoes too, I will probably buy that. I like to try before I buy, you know? I'm going to pick... The, even though it's up there, this book was awesome. It was Bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Bananas. Thank you for joining me today in the book nook. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, turn on the notifications, come back, see me again, and we'll talk about all things books and other things and stuff and me being weird and making noises at you. Beep boop. So until next time, we'll see you later.